So we are back in Vittorito, the birthplace of Domenico. <laughs> and we have got an incredible property for you to see today. Just wait, just wait while you see this one. You'll hear me say this many times on our videos that I love these smaller towns and villages. Absolutely love them. And Vittorito is a beautiful place. It's a uh, few minutes from towns such as Raiano and Popoli. Obviously we're in the Val di Peligna, so we're close also to Sulmona. The atmosphere here is just fantastic. I love it. Um, we've just been, what time is it now? We are on, just gone half past nine. And I've been sat in this bar with, uh, or sat outside it with Domenico, uh, having a chat for half an hour or so. And the, the buzz, the morning coffee buzz, which I wish I would have turned the video on uh, before, just for you to uh, experience it yourself. But it was just, I don't know, it's like you've been transported to another planet. And I said to Domenico, there's no wonder when people come here, including me, including when we bought, and you come away from your busy life in the country where you are, and then all of a sudden you're transported to these incredible places. And you walk down to the bar and there's no wonder people fall in love with these places because it, it's almost like living on a film set. It's quite surreal. And the little experiences you have, even if it is sat in the bar and watching the few people pop in and have their coffee and then go to work, and it just, it does change your life. I've always said it, I have a huge passion, huge passion for these places. And it's only when you come and experience them yourself when you can really appreciate what I'm actually saying. One John up. And a simple word such as Bongiorno means means everything here. Just to say good morning to somebody. I think we forgot that in uh, in most of the world. Ah <sighs> Well, that's my little, <laughs> my little thought of the day. So we're going to see a property now that is just literally two minute walk down here. Obviously Vittorita, we've done a number of videos here. So you can look back on the channel if you want to do more walk around in the town. But you're very close to so many things. It's a, uh, it's a fantastic place couple of bars, pharmacies, doctors, school, uh, pizzeria, gelateria. It's just a great atmosphere. Small enough to feel part of the co community, but big enough to have the facilities. And the public transport's good here as well. Takes you between towns such as Rayano and Popoli, and then from Rayano, which is, you could probably actually walk to Rayano, it'd probably take you about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, beautiful walk. Not that I'm gonna do that today, because it's too hot. <laughs> um, but from Rayano, there's a train station and all the rest of it. So you can get around pretty easy from here. So I'll say the property just around this corner, fantastic place I've got for you today. Really fantastic. Are you ready? Shall we go and have a look at this one? Are you ready to move in to Domenico's town and have him as your neighbour? Is that a selling point? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Well, the area we've just come from is just down here near the, uh, near the church. It's obviously just at the end there, turn right and you're down in the little centre. And the property is just up here. 
I did mention that this is Domenico's town and uh, I guess it was outside the restaurant and bar. Here he is. <laughs> Welcome to Vitorito. I già cominciato con il vino. Yes. So he's already started on the wine. What time is it? It's quarter past ten, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Quarter past ten. <laughs> Just think you can be his neighbour. So here we have a restaurant, bar, pizzeria. The bar's in this uh, in this section here. Let's have a little nosy in. And they've got a great restaurant down there. And uh, it stretches also upstairs, I believe. Great place, really nice to have these. Uh, there's another two bars here. One of them's a gelateria as well. And they also make uh, desserts and all that kind of thing. So you have one of everything here, but remember how close you are as well to Popoli and also to Raiano. So the property we're gonna to see today has a hidden courtyard. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, you heard it. You heard it right, a hidden courtyard. And just look at your neighbors as well. Look at these beautiful palazzos at the top. You can actually see those from the house. And this beautiful garden area here, this stunning garden, absolutely superb. And the house we're gonna see is actually this one here that's hid in the back. And that's what I love about it because this is the entrance. How amazing is that? How traditional is that? Absolutely incredible. Love this property. Can't wait to show it to you. Are you ready? Are you ready to do it? Let's do it. You ready? You ready? <laughs> okay. So here is your private inner courtyard. It does need tidying up a little bit. Lots of people when they're selling their properties, in fact most people when they're selling their properties, they don't dress them to sell. And you're probably aware of that from photographs that you've maybe seen from other websites and people just don't dress them. And I'm actually glad they don't because it would be too easy to dress them up, paint them and ask for another 10,000 on top. I'd rather get the best prices to be honest with you. Look at these properties up here, they're fantastic. So I love this, this area. I think it's just full of character. You've got a little sink there as well. Imagine this all swept up, cleaned up and some nice planters and things like that would be superb. So nobody else has access to this property. And basically the house is from, from here, from this drain pipe and sort of an L shape, L shape property. Superb, because you've got that privacy as well. The windows, they're actually in good condition throughout. You've got the green shutters on the outside, you've got fly screens, and you've got double glazed windows. And all of this is all newly, uh, newly plastered, roof in excellent order, everything's in fantastic shape. So, we have two entrances to this one. I personally would use that as the main entrance because when you walk through you, you go up the stairs from there and then you can go into what would I would class as a living room. But I'm going to go in through here today just so you can uh, see the layout a little bit better. The room that is in here, the living room, is full of furniture so you're not going to get the full effect of it but I will try and try and get these uh, uh, try and get it across to you how, how fantastic these rooms are. Okay, so into what would be the kitchen. Original tiled flooring. The old fireplace, it looks like it's been blocked up. You can actually reface these in stone and things like that. And what I love about this is the vaulted ceilings. Don't know if they're coming across, the star vaultings. They are beautiful. 
and the kitchen obviously there isn't the kitchen at the moment there are some kitchen units in the back but i don't know i, I would just for the price of kitchens here and how cheap they are i think i would just have a new one put in hope you're seeing the size of this it is quite a quite a good size this and you can see where they've tiled where the kitchen would go i'm guessing there's probably an area for the fridge here and then a kitchen in there these tiles are, are new quite nice tiles as well so you have a kitchen dining area with access onto your little courtyard beautiful then this I would use personally I would use this as the living area living room I say apologies for what looks like well, it is actually the old kitchen unit so you could probably still use these it's a shame that it's full because probably can't quite get the size but it is a great size and it does look like we you would need to put central heating in in here you would have to consider that in your costings but the price of this property <laughs> is well uh, is superb i say all the electrics have been done as well so it's only the central heating that you need to need to think about hopefully the size of this room is is coming across probably a good five or six meters by maybe three and a half something like that small window up there what i would do here as i said before this for me will be the main entrance i would keep these original doors but then you can have um glass doors put on the outside so it would let all this light in because it's private nobody can see you off the street because you're behind your own doors but you could keep these original doors so you keep the the nice sort of style but have all of this light coming through that will then light up the living area that's what i would do anyway let me know in the comments if you agree or if you don't agree good so far you liking this one <laughs> i am i love this one okay i say it's a shame that it's not dressed to sell but but there you go it is what it is okay then this will be for the hot water as it stands at the moment but if you get central heating in here then uh, that would be much better so again i'm going to tell you what i would do and i would have this room as a guest bedroom or maybe your bedroom decent size really high ceilings again they look like they are vaulted in some way great size could easily get a double double bed in here looks like the sockets have been arranged for the bed to go on on that wall i think i agree with that and maybe you could get some sort of wardrobe or hanging things here again windows double glazed shutters fly screens not much of a view from this level but I think once you sort out this area, maybe paint this wall, add some flowers, get rid of some of the dead grass that's up there, it would be a fantastic, fantastic place. Look how thick these walls are as well. So there's obviously stone behind those. Then this has a small ensuite. no shower in there but could you maybe get a wet room in here i'm thinking i think you may be able to do that i think we could rearrange that to get a to get a shower in there as well which would be perfect then for this this bedroom or would you have it as something else would you have it as a study because there's another two possibly three upstairs You'll see why I'm saying possibly, because I think I would have... Anyway, I'll wait while I get upstairs. You getting the hang of this? 
you got the layout in your head. Flows really nice as well because everything just wants to take you out onto this, this courtyard. So that's the downstairs area. Let's now head up. I'll show you what's up there. I do love that. I really do. Makes me want to pull a table and chairs out and just sit out and enjoy life. Okay, stairs up to, they are quite fairly steep, um, but that's because the ceilings are so high downstairs, obviously you need to get up and above that, but they're still comfortable. Even for my creaking knees. Okay, so I'll tell you what I would do here. In here is your little bit of luxury. I'll tell you what I will do and then you will do as you please. <laughs> but I, the fact that there is a bathroom downstairs, I think this almost lends itself to being not an ensuite, but it is a little bit of an ensuite for this bedroom, which I think works quite well. I'll show you the bathroom in a sec. Let's do the bedroom first. Again, nice high ceiling. They're not vaulted, but they are uh, nice and high. Quite light, this room. Double bed up against there. So you've got all the plugs here as well. And then, obviously, we have some stairs here that go up to under the roof that's locked up there so I can't get up there but the roof is in excellent order but if you wanted to remove those stairs and just have it as a hatch then obviously you can extend this bedroom a little bit more I think I'd be tempted to do that and this bedroom has a little balcony that goes all the way along easy to pull a chair out here and beautiful Stunning views of the mountains. Look at that. How peaceful is that? Well, I interrupted the peace. But even their garden, next door's garden. So nice. There's vineyards, there's fruit trees. Beautiful. I love this place, absolutely love it. The more I'm here, the more I'm getting into the atmosphere. How Italian is all of this? Well, obviously we're in Italy, so it's gonna be Italian, but you know what I mean. Here's the fly screens I was telling you about. You just pull those, pull those down, and they will they feel like they're stuck a little bit, but they're probably, oh yeah, there you go. Throw these windows open in the evening time and let some of that beautiful Abruzzese air flow in. I think I would be tempted to put a hatch up there just to possibly give a little bit of extra space in there. But having said that, it looks like the staircase from below comes up there, so maybe you won't gain anything. There you go, that was just a small idea. So that's the, the guest bedroom. So you've got one bedroom potentially downstairs, one up here. All these little thin slithers of windows just to Get a glimpse of the outside. This bathroom's actually got a small window that's behind the door, so it's a little bit dark in here. And yes, you guessed it, I don't have my torch. I'm sure you can see. Tiles are new. This looks like a really nice sink unit. With some sort of granite on top. They've just not completely put this put the uh the thing back together bathroom back together but that's definitely where the the sink goes because i can see the taps at the back mirror up here then you have obviously the wc the b-day and the shower and the shower is a great size could get in there with no problem at all and the window is is here. Great, that's a superb sized bathroom. 
And then, this is where I think I would spoil myself. Depends how many bedrooms you need. So these rooms, there's no corridor between the following two rooms, which is why I think it should be just a, a suite. Just your own private suite. Love the flooring. Definitely keep that original flooring. This is a huge room. I would have this as the bedroom. Bed up against that wall. Again, all the electrics are in place for that. Bed up against there. Get rid of, get rid of this. I need to check with the owners what's going and what's staying, but obviously you let us know if you are interested in this one, what you would want to keep or not keep. So I think the bed definitely against here. And then you're out onto this beautiful balcony again and those same views from before. They really are beautiful. You've got the mountains. Just stepping out here, let me go further along here. Just stepping out onto this balcony and looking at the mountains and looking at the neighbours and the old church and look at these palazzos up here. Stunning or what? Like I say, this garden is, is beautiful. I think it is anyway. A little bit dry because we've not had much rain. This looks like it's a cherry tree. Obviously they can't allow these trees to come over onto you and to block block your views. I'm sure they'll keep trees like this, they tend to keep them low because they, they want to hand pick the fruit off them. Absolutely beautiful garden and beautiful views for you. So back into what I would have as the main bedroom. This is huge. And then what I would do just for that little bit of luxury, I would have a walk-in wardrobe and possibly a bathroom up here. Well, definitely a bathroom. I think you'd have to. Because there's more than enough in this room. Because if you remember, we have the little bathroom, which I think is below us down here in that guest room. Or the pipes are certainly in this sort of direction. So I'm sure the plumbers would be able to find the waste pipes and things. For you to have an ensuite in this area where this wardrobe is and then the rest as a as a walk-in wardrobe it's actually geared up to be another bedroom because they've got the sockets here but obviously you have to walk from one to another but a lot of times they do it like that because traditionally somebody would have probably lived up here so this maybe would have been the kitchen living dining room then you could have a bedroom at that side and then this is a bedroom so you've almost got like a two bedroom apartment up here and one downstairs, but I don't think I would, I would love for this to be a, an ensuite and a, a, a walk-in wardrobe. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. How would you lay it out? You possibly want if the bathroom's going in there, you'd maybe need to check with the council to see if you can have a, some sort of window out there. It'd be quite nice to have that. If not, you just have to put a, a vent in there. Brilliant, love it, absolutely love it. Then you have this little storage area, which is part of a staircase that must go maybe next door. I'm not sure where that staircase, it must be something to do with next door's house. I don't know if you can see the roof up there, but it's in great order. The structure of this place is fantastic. What do you think? I love it. I absolutely love it. Love the location, love the style, love the fact that it's just sat off, sat behind and behind those gates and you've got that real sense of nice privacy. It's pretty much habitable, but little bits of work would just make it even better and a fantastic, fantastic price. What do you think folks? Do you like this one? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So we're going to do a quick final thought. Let's do it. So my final thought on this one 
is definitely stunning. What else could what else could I say? Fantastic property, great town, brilliant town, stunning views, beautiful neighbours, and plenty of space. Potentially three bedrooms, it could even be four. You've got the one downstairs, this one definitely a bedroom, right next to the bathroom. Come in, start using the place now, then you can decide if upstairs you want to make three beds, or if you want to go down the line of, as I said, making this a luxury suite area, which I would definitely be tempted to do. It would be so easy to do. Downstairs, plenty of room. Plenty of room, nice size kitchen, nice size lounge. And then the potential to have another bedroom down here. Apologies for all this furniture. but I'm sure you, you're getting the feel of the size. Love this kitchen, absolutely love it with those vaulted ceilings. And then your extra area, what would this be? Study, another bedroom, what would you use it for? And the little bathroom in the corner. Good quality windows, structure perfect, electrics excellent, just need central heating bringing in. But there's nothing to stop you using it now. Absolutely amazing. And then the best thing, not the best thing, but one of the fantastic things of this property is this outside space. Just imagine what you could do with this. You could really make something special with this. And then you stroll out of your private courtyard and you're out onto the streets of the town ready to use the facilities of this beautiful beautiful village and you can pop two doors down and go to the pizzeria how perfect is that tell me how perfect is it okay folks Thank you so much again for joining us, sticking with us and supporting us. Really appreciate it. Remember to join us Tuesday evenings on our live streaming sessions on YouTube and on Facebook. And remember, remember what I always say. Whatever you do, do not miss this one.